Dominic Singh with Whirly Bugger Fly Shop. Today I'm going to show you how to tie the Dalai Lama. Now this is an absolutely essential streamer in my book. Uh, it can be used for trout, bass, uh, just about anything that will eat a smaller fish, but especially um, having that full range of motion in this fly is a key feature. And uh, it's an excellent, excellent fly for trout, steelhead, salmon, saltwater, you name it. So let's get to tying. All right, to start, I'm using a size six Daiichi octopus hook. The thread I'm using is a 150 denier gel spun. So I get thread started on the trailer hook here. I like to run it back to the bend like that to lay down a good base of friction there. And I'm gonna take a black crosscut rabbit strip, tie in just a short section of the tail there. Like that. You just don't want it too long to foul the octopus hook itself. So lay down some good thread wrap stacked up like that. Then I'm going to wrap forward and then back onto itself. So wrapping back this way to help cinch down those top wraps. Just like that. Now you can add first series of knots. And that's the trailer tying done. So I'm going to take a section of braid now. This is a 50 pound tough line, uh, but any small thin diameter Dacron will work for this. And I'm just kind of sticking it through and I'm going to put the ends of this braid through the loop. You can also loop it around the hook itself, but it's a little tougher with the rabbit strip on there. Just like that. Now I'm going to put the shank in the vise. Now for this you can use either an articulated shank by Flyman and then bend out the back so you can put the cone on or I'm just using a large saltwater hook shank or streamer hook shank. The cone I have on there is an extra large tungsten. So again here laying down a good thread base, cinch down however far you want the wrapped body to be. Now lay down the braid top here and slide it back however far you want the hook sticking out. So for the river I generally like this fly about three inches long. It doesn't need to be much bigger than that so cinch the braid down there. And twist the braid into the thread and wrap that up. Tuck the ends of the braid under that cone and now there's no way that that hook will ever pull out on you. That. Top the cross cut back on the wraps there. Cinch it down, kind of weave the thread through the hair on the top there. That. And same thing here, I'm tying backwards, cinch down that rabbit strip. And now I've brought the thread up to the cone. I'm gonna wrap the cross cut up to the cone, applying a decent amount of tension there. Add a tight wrap under the cone there as well. Catch it with the thread. Cinch down like that. Now that rabbit strip is completely tied in under that cone, it can't be uh, nicked from the top and unraveled. So next I'm going to take a small section of white zonker, about as long as the body or a little shorter, and tie that, that in with a loose wrap on top and then I like to tuck it in under the cone there. Cinch down to the thread, same thing there. And finally some lateral scale flash. So for this, I'm just taking one strand, folding it over the base thread here, sliding it into place, and then tying back from the top there. Just to finish off the head, I'm gonna add a little rabbit fur for dubbing, just to kind of cover up that thread. So, and now you're ready to tie off underneath the cone. Like 
that. And now the final step is just trim the shank that you're using flush with the braid there. And now you have your articulated Dalai Lama. Absolutely great streamer fly just about anywhere you go. And should definitely be a staple in your streamer box. All materials for this fly can be found at our shops. Give us a call or order online.